And you mentioned uh, Dr. Deal's fusion was several levels. Why was that necessary? Well, you know, he had a terrible fracture there at L2, and that was an unstable injury. And, and he's a young man, and you want to have that stabilized. You don't want to have that unstable. And so what happens, he has to fuse, it's between L2 and L3 is where the most damage was, but you usually have to go like two levels above, um, so to the lower thoracic area, and then go on down to L4 to keep all of that online and fused in order to be able to make sure that there, um, there's no break there after the repair. What impact does that have being on the fact that, that when Chabal had this surgery, he was only 11 years old? Well, and see, what's happened in that situation is that he's not completed his growth, and so now that he's fused in that area, he cannot grow between the two areas where the fusion took place. Um, he can still grow in other areas. The other thing that's very complicating in all of this is that since he's a young man still growing, um, you can, this happens in adults too, but with children it seems to be, more of an acute problem because he's still growing top and bottom and with the paralysis in between you can run into a scoliosis. And has that happened with Schwab? He's had back pain since then. He seems to go forward a lot and try to instruct him in good posture but unfortunately I think all of us end up with poor posture uh, even though your mother or grandmother might encourage you to use good posture so um, he's had problems with that. Um, he's not needed surgery. He has had back pain. Seems to be more muscular at this point. We use a soft brace to help him with that. That adds a lot of equipment. He's not really eager to use it. What, what is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine, and that can occur above or below where the level of injury uh, or the level of fusion has occurred. Is that something you see with spinal cord patients? Yes, we see that a lot, both in adult and children, but in particularly in the children. Does the fusion itself change Cheval's center of gravity? Uh, the paralysis changes his center of gravity a lot because uh, what happens, he has no movement, uh, you know, from like the belly button on up. So he's got good movement there, but that's impeded because the spine is fused, and so. Uh, in order for him to have good balance, he sort of has to churn in, in unison. So that does have an effect on the sitting balance. Is that something that you work with or that your people work with and we have? Yeah, the therapists spend a lot of time uh, working on these things because they want to promote good posture, they want to improve his strength, they want to take full advantage of his arms. Uh, they don't want him to have, uh, you know, improve his strength a great deal. And so they want to work on balance reactions, things like that. Because, uh, you know, the young man can fall out of his chair. That happens. Um, kids fall. Young adults fall. Adults fall. And uh, if you're in a wheelchair, you have a chance of falling, too. So overall, what was the purpose of rehab when, when Cheval was assessed and what you all decided to do? Well, he had a significant spinal cord injury. He was paralyzed uh, from, you know, from the waist down. Um, and so, with, and then in addition to that, he had a neurogenic bowel and a neurogenic bladder. The, um, with all of that, our job was to teach him how to adapt to this paralysis and be able to function at a wheelchair level because he's, you know, he's a nice young man. He's got a full life to live. Um, we wanted to teach him how to get in and out of the wheelchair by himself, how to turn in bed, very basic things, um, how to dress himself both in the upper extremities and in the lower extremities, which are paralyzed in the morning. Um, we wanted to teach him how to bathe himself, how to take a shower in a wheelchair, uh, things such as that. We also, he was 10. And so we, had, uh, we taught him how to do his intermittent catheterizations. We had him participate in the bowel training program, but the mom took a large role in the bowel training program because that was a little more involved um, given his age.